There we go. Hi, my name, I mean, hey. That's how Rowan used to say it. She was our little 16-year-old from Saudi Arabia. Precious, just a cute little doll baby button. We miss her. Well, my name is Miracle. This is a, another Kalingo class. We are here to talk about 20 oddball roadside attractions in the U.S. What does all of that mean? It's really simple and actually it should be quite interesting. A roadside attraction. If you are driving down the road and you see something interesting, you turn your head and you go, oh, let me look at that. So you're driving down the road, you see something interesting, that is an attraction. A roadside attraction. 20 oddball roadside attractions in the U.S. That's what today's class is about. Let me get the article for you. Oh no! What happened? They removed my article. Get out of here. Get out. Are you serious? Hi Liliana. They removed my article. They removed my article. And sorry? They removed my article. On Facebook? No, um, the article I was supposed to use for today's class. They uh, took it down. Well, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's Google and see if I can find it. There we go. I had to go to Google. Uh, okay. How are you? Ah, I'm fine, uh, thank you. I just um, saw a video uh, about one of your classes and uh, because I, I love the topic about a uh, sting song. And about, song. oh my god. This song is beautiful. Oh. Uh, sting is one of my favorite uh, musicians, but anyway, I, I like the other singer or musician. I think it's, uh, uh, he's from Cheb Algeria. Cheb Mimi. Uh huh. He's from Algeria, no? I think. Algeria. Algeria. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, and it turns out he is the second best Rai singer in Algeria. I didn't know that. So the first is Cheb Khaled, uh -huh. who I've been listening to for years. I love him. And then, so they said that Cheb Khaled is the king of Rai in Algeria. And then Cheb Mimi, Cheb means master. Uh -huh. Chep Mimi is the prince of Rai. Mm. So those are the two best Rai singers oh, from yeah. Algeria. Amazing performance. Yes, I, I, heard, I, I had heard this song uh, about, I think, one year ago. Yes. Because I follow Sting uh, on Twitter. Oh, um, do you? Ah, yes, I'm a huge I love fan him. Sting and uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, and uh, at the beginning, when, the first time that I saw uh, this video on his um, Facebook account, mm -hmm. at the beginning was was Facebook really weird. Facebook page. Facebook page. Facebook mm page. -hmm. Because it's the the first time that he uh, sing uh, an Arabian song, so I think uh, it was hard for him because it's not his style. But anyway, he he did a, he did very well. But you know, he didn't sing in Arabic. He only sang in English. In English, but anyway, he followed uh, the Arabian singer. Ah, okay. It wasn't. Uh, it was hard for him. Different style. Yes. They did a beautiful job together, didn't yes, they? Yes. <clears throat> beautiful, and I like the. I dream of rain. I dream of dream of rain. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yeah. I love it. Just yeah. love it. I a student are... told me about it, actually, because mm -hmm. I was talking about music, and he said, teacher, you know, when the classes were free, every time I would have a music class, students started sending me music from their countries. Oh. So I just got exposed to tons of music. Uh -huh. You know, I loved it. Yeah. So, And that was one of the ones that somebody sent me, and I it immediately became a favorite. Uh, yes, I, I, I just a pity. I miss it. <laughs> This class. 
<laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I wish I were there in your class. I know. Oh, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. I'm glad you can watch the videos. Yes, it's a little early for me. It's about 7 a.m. At this time, I I wake woke up. I usually it's 8 a.m. for me. It's early for uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I watch because I I am watching your channel to to look for some uh, pronunciation classes. Uh huh. And I oh, today it was bad. Yes. The pronunciation videos. One uh, of them yes. ended at 45 minutes, and then I couldn't get into class for the second one. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, it, it took... was it wasn't in this class, and I couldn't uh, do the exercise. But no, no, I I understood that. Yeah. It happens with the internet. No, I I uh, I didn't watch it, but I like to watch a video about Michael Jackson tribute in one of your classes. I say, oh, but uh, it was in old Colingo or in, in new Colingo that you told this class. What's the new one? It was on Monday. Ah, it was on Monday. I know. Yeah, so we got to watch. Um, oh, but you know what? I'm doing a lot of Michael Jackson. Yes. I think uh, next week, sometime. Uh, I what I did was like a whole week of Michael Jackson. It, it's either next week or the week after, so uh -huh. it's like three or four days of Michael Jackson because uh -huh. he's my favorite musician in the uh, world. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh my God! So we're looking at danger, dangerous, dangerous. We're doing dangerous, and um, I can't remember which ones I chose. I know I chose dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Is great. Mm. And uh, the sad girl, sad. What's yeah, her name? Uh, I'm trying girl. to, I'm trying uh, to say Billy, sad. Billy Jean. Billy Jean. No, I didn't do Billy Jean. No. I did his um the stuff from like the '90s. Uh, what, what yeah. Sounds? I don't know, but I had fun. <laughs> I had fun. Yeah. So what I'm finding is, because you know I love music and languages, so when I have to do music, I am choosing songs that I just love. So that if I end up in class by myself, I can still have fun. <laughs> yes, <of course. laughs> because sometimes I end up by myself and I'm just like, well, you know, I would normally sit here and listen to Michael Jackson anyway, so uh -huh. I can listen to him and talk about it. Uh, in Dangerous, I think, I, I don't remember if it's in Dangerous or another uh, similar song, he plays a lot with um, his tone of voice, you no? Know? Rise his boy and low. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I, I like the way that he plays all the time with his boys. So great. He was just the best. He really was. Yeah. The only one. <laughs> yes. One of a kind, definitely. Mm -hmm. Here is the article for today's class. Okay. And it's great, Liliana, because you are the only one here. Uh -huh. So when we have like private classes like this, it's really good because all the attention goes on you and whatever you need help with. So you can read as slowly as you want. You can review as many vocabulary words as you want. It's your class. It's like a private yeah. lesson. Yes, I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. 20 oddball roadside attractions in the U.S. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh... Do you read first? Um, no, you're going to read, and uh, I will help you with pronunciation if you need okay. it. Okay, okay. So I start. Uh, some U.S. tourist attractions: Old Faithful, the Liberty Bell, and the Las Vegas Strip come to mind. Garner millions of visitors each summer by sheer nature of their existence. And, but there are hundreds of uh, other roadside attractions try fly below the radar of unsuspecting travelers onto a highway billboard or traveling blog mission. Hi, I don't know how to read. Ahem? Ahem? Ahem. You know how you like clear your throat? <clears> throat> okay. Ahem. <laughs> Catches uh, their eye. Are they worth talking at the tour to check out? Absolutely. Here's the scope on the most unusual and noteworthy roadside attractions to pull over for on your next road trip. 
but I don't understand some words. Uh, they when when you read articles like this, they write in a, a different type hmm. of English. It's very artistic and expressive. They try to be interesting and funny and cute. So we do not speak like this, but you will find artistic type articles written like this. Okay. Uh, hi, why billboard? But when they say ahem, ahem, uh, <clears throat> you, yeah, <laughs> it's like clearing your throat. You would not normally see that written in an article. Like I said, it's an artistic article, uh -huh. so they are taking liberties. They they are doing some things a little differently. You normally would not, and I don't even know why they put that in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's why. Or a travel blog mention. <clears throat> this is a travel blog mention. Mm -hmm. You get it. Uh -huh. So he's he's saying in general you would not know about these sites unless someone tells you or a travel blog mentions it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is the travel blog that's mentioning it. So he's uh -huh. calling your attention to what he's saying. I, when they say the tour is what is the tour? This word taking a, the tour to check out. Uh, can you see it? Uh, oh, taking a detour. Are yeah. they worth taking a detour? Uh -huh. Well, when you are on a tour, you have a destination. When you go on a detour, you go around uh -huh. to get to your destination. So a detour, like um, if I'm headed straight down the road, this is where I'm going. Well, now I'm coming, um, let's say I'm coming this way. I would have to take a detour to get over here. Uh -huh. Is it worth it? Is it a good thing to take a detour and come over here? That's a detour. Uh -huh. So my destination is back here. I'm going this way because I need to go all the way over there. Uh -huh. But this is over here. Do I take a detour? Do I go away from my plan mm -hmm. to go see this place? Uh -huh. So if you're not headed in the direction you would have to take a detour to get there. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. We have to find out. We have to look at them. Okay. Uh, so you click on the arrow and it takes you to number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's very creative. Yeah. Ah, okay. A car hang. <laughs> That's <Our> cute. <laughs> Car, well, you know you have Stonehenge. That's how we pronounce it. You know about Stonehenge? No. Uh, you probably know what it is. You just don't. Stonehenge? You know the. You just call it something different. Which? Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Okay. You know what that is, right? I know the word stone. Stone, but hinge. no, my. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. I thought I was showing you my screen. Hold on. Here, Stonehenge, right there. That's when they. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Like in Eastern Island. Michigan. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is Stonehenge, but they are calling this Carhenge. Mm, See the, the, shape, the shape. Yes, exactly. Carhenge. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, a uh, Carhenge Alliance N E, the vision of artist Jim Reinders, who was inspired after a visit to the prehistoric temple of Stonehenge in England. Carhenge has been a fixture in western Nebraska since 1987. It consists of 30 cars placed to not recreate. 30, not 30. I 38. Mm -hmm. 38, sorry. Cars placed to recreate the exact dimensions of the 19 feet in diameter UNESCO World Heritage Site original and is play, play, painted gray. Original. Mm -hmm. Original. Mm -hmm. ah. 38 cars, wow. That's crazy. Mm hmm. Would you stand next to that? Uh, stand next to that? No. Would you stand beside one of those cars? 
-hmm. Would you stand? You know, stand? Yes, that is to, to stay. Yeah. yeah, would you stand next to? I would be afraid that the car would fall. No, no, no because I think maybe it, it drops. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to, to get a good balance between two cars and over one car. Yeah, that's a little bizarre. Mm -hmm. Is this worth a detour? Mm, no. I don't know. Maybe not. To come to the first place. Yeah. Is it a, is it worth a detour to uh, leave your path, leave the path of your original destination to come here? Mm -hmm. mm, I think maybe maybe I do it. Not for me. I wouldn't. No. No. I I couldn't even stand next to the cars. <laughs> I'd be afraid they would fall. <laughs> so. But anyway, it's good to see this uh, stone hinge because it's, uh, I think it's, it's very creative, and uh, I I haven't seen anything similar like these stones. Wow! Well, oh, this is car hinge, though. Uh -huh, car hinge. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, in car England, hinge. no? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Uh, of stone stone uh -huh. hinge is in England. This is in England. This is in the United States. And Nebraska. But, yes. Uh, the pre prehistoric temple of Stone Hinge in England and Card Hinge has uh, in Nebraska. So it says that it was inspired mm -hmm. by Stone Hinge. In England. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Okay. So they built something similar in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. I would not go there. I would continue on my path. <laughs> no. no, maybe I, I would like to to see the um, stone or the prehistoric and monuments in uh, Easter Island in Chile, Chile, because I'm I'm a little bit curious to know about the history of these stones. Yes, but you know we're talking about Carhenge. Ah, yes. So, going back to the vocabulary word that we had, it said, is it worth a detour? I'm asking, is car hinge worth a detour? Mm, no. I don't think so either. No. Stonehenge, of course, would be. Stonehenge is amazing. Mm -hmm. This is just trash. Ah, yes. Stonehenge in England, but car hinge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's look at number three. Okay. What is this? Three. What, what in the world? What Bible Park? This is in my state. Yes. Yeah. That's in my state. A lot of stairs and what is? Oh, that? I would not go here. Oh no, <laughs> I wouldn't go here. <laughs> okay, why don't you read about what it is? No, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> okay, Fields of the Wood Bible Park, Murphy, NC. The fact that that world's largest ten commandments, which are written in four foot by five foot cement letters, is located in the fields of the Wood Bible Park in remote Remote Western North California, I'm sorry, Carolina. Carolina. How do you read this? Carolina. Uh, Carolina. Mm -hmm. Let's you know you are in for a religious experience, but you'll also get a workout because you shall clean more than 30, 400 steps up, 10 commandments, mounting to best appreciate the world of the Lord. It has a, a religious meaning, no? Yes, uh, absolutely. No, feels from the Wood Bible Park. All that they did was just write the Ten Commandments in cement on the grass. Mm -hmm. They just I, wrote the commandments. Uh -huh. And I see the uh, I, Greek and uh, numbers. Um, that's how we write the the commandments, Commandment. like Commandment number one. Thou shall not kill. And you have number it. two. Thou shall not steal. Or I don't know them anymore. But you haven't been there. 
I would not go there. You could not pay me to go there. I would not go there. Three hundred steps. I don't want to see the Ten Commandments written in grass. Uh -huh. It's boring. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I I never heard about it. Mm. Mm. I can't believe that's in my state. I've never heard of it either. Mm -hmm. uh. It's a park, no? Wood bike wall park. Yeah, um, Fields of the Wood Bible Park. That's the name of the of the whole place. Mm -hmm. Murphy is a city. North Carolina is the state. So if you if someone says where is it, we would say Murphy, North Carolina. Uh, What's the name of it? Fields of the Wood Bible Park. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the name of the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, is that worth a detour to you? No. <laughs> Me either. I continue. Hopefully we would see one. <laughs> we would see something that's worth a detour. Oh, seriously? This is horrible. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I feel embarrassed to live in the U.S. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they think in, in express uh, uh, what they think about the command, com commandments. How do you say that? Oh no, I'm talking about all of these pictures. Like ah, yeah. these I are tourist not. attractions yeah. in the US. I and they're not. all embarrassing. <laughs> we don't have anything fantastic. We have trash. Yes, it, it, they are not interesting. No, they're not. Uh, maybe, oh. maybe the stone and cars? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's look okay. at the beer ha beer can uh, house in Texas. Have, okay, a lot of uh, thirds were quenched to build a beer can house, a Houston landmark that owner John hmm, Milkovich spent two de decades covering with this on artistic version of aluminum siding, an estimated uh, 5,000 beer can not fit not five fifty thousand yes mm -hmm. beer cans Oof. Wow. Milkovich who died in 1988 polish polish off uh, the beer himself I it by his wife Mary and aided some uh, aided by his wife Mary and some neighbors and used every part of the can flattened sides, bottoms, and pull tabs to put 20, 222 Malone Street. What is Saint? What, what is? Street, that's the address, street? 222 okay. Malone Street. Street on the roadside wonders map. Hmm. That is embarrassing. <laughs> How many beers? Beers can. Yes. Can to, oh to my that. God! So he died in 1988. I wonder if it had something to do with alcoholism. <laughs> yes, or maybe to maybe recycle this quantity of beer of uh, beer cans. I don't know. Do huh? Maybe. Mm -hmm. But this is a uh, no, 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 no. This Look at that. Read it. It says he well, polished off the beer himself. That's just another way of saying he drank um, it himself, aided yeah. by his wife and some neighbors. So oh. he, his wife, and some neighbors drank 50,000 cans of beer. Wow, they, are, they were alcoholic. I think so. Oh, oh my God. Huh. Wow. Well, but and this house was their home? Yes, this is their home. <laughs> this is why I said it's embarrassing to be an American right now. Good grief. They make Americans look crazy. Yes. Jeez. I never think in do, uh, in, in do that kind of thing. Me either. Uh -huh. I never I never thought of doing that to my house. Mm, Texas, Houston, Texas. Mm. Yeah. Texas is um uh -huh. a yeah, place. Yes. It is full of eccentric people. 
Texas is a large state and people have very, they say, um, there's a saying like uh, everything is bigger in Texas, like personalities, uh. food, people, everything is bigger in Texas because they have like big, big, big personalities. They have lots of land. Uh -huh. They even have something called bow heads where like if you put a bow in your head, you know, like a little bow. Maybe you put a little bow, a little design, a little decoration. Uh -huh. In Texas, it's like this. <laughs> it's like yeah. a huge bow. All this so, huge. <laughs> always, everything is bigger. Like uh -huh. a steak, like if you eat a meal, like the steak is like this uh -huh. in, in North Carolina, but in Texas, it's like this. <laughs> so, everything in Texas, we say, is bigger. Yeah. But uh, Texas belonged oh, many years ago to Mexico, no? Um, I don't know the history, but they are very, very, you know what? Yes, the Alamo. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, maybe that's, uh, that's why their behavior, their personalities, because or they are sure. close to Mexico. Um, mm. maybe, I have yeah. no idea. But I mean, but you don't see people in Mexico doing that. <laughs> like, no, no. no. Saying that, uh, their personalities is uh, all is huge there, or maybe they express more their uh, feelings than the I rest of the No, people. I don't know. I, I actually get a feeling, I don't know. It, it's difficult to explain, but each state definitely has its own personality. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, each state. So when people think of the U.S., they think of like what they see on television. But each state is so different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Uh, I continue with. Uh, sure. This. Number five. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> said. Because this is like 30 minutes from me. Uh, yes. I this is Wilson, know. North Carolina. This is like 30 minutes. Oh, this is embarrassing. I don't understand. What is it? <laughs> I, don't I don't either. Know. But Wilson, North Carolina is like, oh, this is horrible. Like a, uh, they do it with uh, recyclable things. I don't know. We'll have to read uh, it to find okay. out. Okay. Uh, and Volis Simpson. Oh, we we'll, we'll, we know how. Whirly Gig Park. Whirly Gig Park. Oh, Wilson, Jesus. North Carolina. 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 Yeah, Carolina. Okay. What's a Whirly? I know it's. it's Whirly Gig. Hard. Whirly Gig. Mm-hmm. It's any object that spins or wheels, and you'll commonly, common, commonly find colorful. Folksy version. Folksy. Foxy. Ah, without L. Foxy version atop rural fence posts and barns. But North Carolina, really geek impresario. Mm hmm. Wally Simpson has supersized this craft by creating more than 30 massive moving sculptures from ma machinery parts of industrial savage. Mm -hmm. Now, 1930, Simpson is... Mm -mm. Now what? 1993, sorry. Yes, uh-huh. Simpson is allowing the town of Wilson, located between Lake and reveal to create the Bolly Simpson Whirly Geek Park, opening in November 2013, filled with his fanciful art machines. That oh, is crazy. trash. <laughs> that is embarrassing, and it's trash. People, mm -hmm. see, this is why people don't like to be from the South in the U.S., because mm -hmm. you have this sort of mentality where you celebrate this, this should not be celebrated. This is embarrassing. Mm -hmm. This is why when, when I say I'm from North Carolina, people think, oh, she's not so smart. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not very intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, they think very bad things about me because when they think about North Carolina, they mm -hmm. think about things like this. You could never do that in New York. Uh -huh. yes. Never! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. They, maybe they think that it is... Um, and um, um, you know, concept of the sculpture, but I anyway, I I don't like it. It's uh, true because I don't understand what is the sense of 
this sculpture or this, uh, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> well, they're calling it a whirligig. They are making up a word. A whirligig is not a, it's not a word. Mm -hmm. no. So he's just making anything that spins and whirls. Mm -hmm. Serious? That's just embarrassing. Let's move on. <laughs> from now on, I'm going to say I'm from, I don't know. Uh, I'll choose a different best. state. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I like this. It's Insectopolis. Insectopolis. Uh, Insectopolis. 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 Insect is a bug. I'm trying to. I uh -huh. can't get it. An ins. I can't get it. You need the T. There you go. Insect is a bug. And then whenever you say, whenever you see polis, it usually means like a world of. So a world of insects. Uh, okay. In Insectopolis. Tom's River, uh, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Billing itself as the back zoom of New Jersey insect Insectopolis. In Tom Rivers, it's dedicated to all things creepy and crawly from fussy tarantulas and boosting honey beans to glow in the dark scorpions and Madagascar hissing. Hissing. Hissing is um, <laughs> making that sound. Okay. Cro 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 I don't know. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Kids will likely love the hands of on the hands on opportunities to touch the bug the box, while you'll probably prefer to simply look and try not to scream. Tarantulas. That's amazing. So the ones that we are seeing are dead and they put them on display, but apparently uh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Are these real? How did they get? Yes. They look the same. Like that looks the same as this one. That's the same as this one. How did they get butterflies that look exactly the same? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I wondered that. Oh. Are those real? Maybe they're not real because butterflies are like they're not the same. You can't get maybe mm -hmm. one pair that is the same but they have this is the same this one is the same a couple of them these look the same these are the same I think that they are diet or they are maybe they uh, oh. how do you say when when they are diet and you uh, disecate I don't know disecate to disecate uh, to put them in a in a place but that they are anyway they are diet. So you think maybe they colored them after they died or something? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh -huh. But anyway, they are beautiful. I like the colors. Yeah. Uh -huh. So so far, this. But is this worth a detour? A detour? I know. Sorry, I don't understand. A detour, remember that word? We ask for each picture. If you are going to a location uh -huh. and this is away from your location, it is called taking a detour. Uh, okay. okay, remember we talked about this? You are going this way? The building is over here. Uh, let me hear because so I, you I, have to turn and go uh, over here. Ah, the tour. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. I, sorry I was That's lost. your detour. Uh, so is yeah. that worth a detour? Yeah, I think it's interesting. But uh, anyway, here I, I would like to see maybe uh, butterflies alive. In yes, the, yes. It's, it's, it's more interesting, and you know that they is is real. They are real. Yes, that's uh -huh. true. That's very true. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is worth a detour for me. I'm still waiting for something that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God! Please tell me this is not here. Oh no, this is for your hair. Ah, like a... the U.S. is boring. 
<laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Could you imagine start. something like this, like in Europe? They, <laughs> if you had roadside attract roadside attractions in Colombia, it would be awesome. We yeah. have this embarrassing trash. <laughs> Is that Layla's her museum? Who, who was Layla? I don't know. We have to find out. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> And yes, it's, it's weird, no? And yes. The flowers and uh, the colors is uh, uh, they are dark. Brown, yeah, brown. very boring. Mm. Oh, but you know what? It's 19th century, uh, which means they couldn't um, use very bright colors. They had to be subtle. Ah, yes. Okay. So I, I read Layla's Her Museum. Yes. Independence. M O M O is Missouri. Missouri. Very good. Okay. Those 19th century Victorians sure had a thing for her. They not only created decorative wreaths wreaths and wreaths mm -hmm. from human hair, but also wore jewelry. That is disgusting. <laughs> made from it as a, a token of affection or a remember remembrance uh -huh. of someone who had died. Uh, Layla's Hair Museum oh. in Independence, Missouri is the only museum of its kind or kind of kind. 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 With more than 1,600 hair, oh, 1,600 what? Hair wreaths and 2,000 intricately woven pieces. Intricately. It means in with lots of detail. Uh -huh. Intricately woven pieces uh -huh. of jewelry, the uh -huh. others being a brush made in uh, 1680. Oh, now that's, that's some nasty. the DNA. Uh, this is hair. Uh, we are looking at hair from dead people. I know. That's scary. That's just, oh, I wouldn't even touch that. I know. 1680? Yeah, that means yeah, that hair is 330 years old. That's that. Mm. Oh, this is disturbing. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Next. Oh, yes, people. Oh, I know. <laughs> no. When you, when I uh, knew the history, no, at, at the beginning, that's strange, it, but it's not as terrible as now when you know the history. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you are more tolerant. You are more forgiving than I am. <laughs> I continue my my way. <laughs> you would stay on your way, no detour. <laughs> yes. No detour. Yeah, same for me. Same. Okay, I hope that out of these 21 sites that we could find one place that is worth a detour in the US. Uh-huh. Pizza and Cycling in the USA? No. no, 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 no. No. They they are comparing no this to the Leaning uh, Tower of Pizza. Pizza. Okay. The Leaning Tower of Niles. Niles. <laughs> yes. I Illinois. So what is I? Illinois. Uh huh. I Illinois. If Pisa, Italy, is too far a trek for you, head to Niles, Illinois. Outside Chicago. Oh, uh, Illinois. We don't pronounce the uh, S. Okay. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Outside Chicago, where a half scale replica of the Leaning Tower has stood since uh, 1934. Italy's original is more than 600 years old. Mm -hmm. Built by industrialist Robert Leake to cover a water tower in a recreation park, the 94 Foot tall, mm -hmm. the Tower of Niles is now <clears throat> owned and maintained by the local, uh, how do you write it? Uh, YMCA. YMCA. Mm -hmm. Niles and Pisa have been sister cities since 1991, so try saying ciao uh, mm -hmm. instead, instead of cheese. Cheese when posing for your photos. Uh, I, don't, I, I never. Uh, oh, I didn't know that uh, there is a replica of a uh, Pisa Tower in the mm, USA. I don't know if it's an exact replica. I think it's 
like it reminds you of the the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but mm -hmm. they they made it to. Do you see why? Mm -hmm. Why was it created? Uh, because they say that uh, maybe the the people that uh, couldn't go to see the go to Italy to see the original tower. <clears throat> right here. They can do it in right here. Mm -hmm. Built by industrialist Robert League or something to cover a water tower in a recreation park. Mm -hmm. So they have a water tower, mm -hmm. uh, a place that supplies water, and I guess it was sort of ugly, so they wanted <laughs> to cover it. Uh, to cover the tower? Yes. Uh -huh. That's yes, crazy. Recreational part. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> detour? <laughs> no. No, me either. Uh, I, I would like to see the real. Uh, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. It's embarrassing to be an American right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. this is not better. This is not making things better. That? Work. Seriously, let's build. Wait, where's K Y? Is a loose build? K Y. K Y. Where's Kentucky? Ah, Kentucky. Okay, it it weighs sixty eight thousand pounds and stands one hundred twenty feet tall in front of the Louisville. Louisville. So, uh, sorry. We don't pronounce the S-E here ah, either. Louisville. Yeah, okay. because it's a French word. Mm -hmm. So it's like Louis, like Louis the Fourth, Louis the Fifth. Uh-huh. You know. The king. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we say Louisville. Okay, Louisville, mm -hmm. slogan, museum, and factory in downtown Louisville. But baseball fans will be most excited to know that it's an oversized replica of the 34-inch Louisville slogger used by baby Babe Ruth. Ruth. Mm -hmm. One exception. It's made of steel, not wood. Oh, oh steel. Oh. I wonder how much it costs to build mm -hmm. that. Hmm. Sixty-eight thousand pounds. Oh. That's crazy. Oh. And 120 feet tall, so it's taller than that. Uh huh. 100 feet. Than the building. Uh, hmm. um, I don't know. I, no. No, that's boring. <laughs> yes, I think the same. Do you know who Babe Ruth is? Uh, a baseball uh, mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe for them. That's yeah, maybe if you like Babe Ruth or if you are a baseball fan. I'm sort of a baseball fan, but I don't want to see a bat. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> because here we are not fans of ba baseball. So. Oh, really? No. Uh, only in the north coast of uh, my country they play baseball, but it's not a, a popular uh, Yeah, it's not a popular here. sport. Mm. Mm, this is crazy. It just seems like people want to have the world's largest something. Yes. <laughs> Who cares if you have the world's largest bat? <laughs> or the world's largest buffalo. Who cares? It's ridiculous. Only for fans of baseball. Okay, well, how about this buffalo? <laughs> Do you want to say I'm from North Dakota and we have the world's largest buffalo? That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, no, I continue my... <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, you know what? Let's just keep going because we only have 15 minutes. Let's see okay. if we can find what... What? Seriously? Or largest buffalo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is in New York. Uh, ah, yes, in New York. North oh Dakota. my god. Uh, okay, uh, uh, do I read it? Yeah. Okay, world's largest buffalo. Jamestown. Uh, Wait, no, no, number 11. Ah, uh, 11. Uh, yeah, go to 11. Okay, 11. Ah, uh, okay. World's smallest church, Oneida, New York. Mm -hmm. If you are feeling a wee, a wee bit insignificant, 
praying or meditating in the Cross Island Chapel. Uh, chapel. Chapel. Uh, chapel. Oh. A tiny three foot by six foot church located in the middle of a pond in the upstate New York town of Oneida. Might just be the antidote. Built in 1989, the non-denominational mini chapel that sits. Oh, non-denominational. Non-denominational mini chapel that sits to is also available for special occasions, which is certainly one way to cut cut down the guest list for your wedding. <gasps> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of a pond. Wow. Yeah, you can't no. even walk there. No. That's ridiculous. <laughs> a special occasion? No, I, I never saw like like a wedding? A wedding there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. Detour? Small chapel. No, no. No, no oh. detour. Okay, uh, 12. What is this? Superman. Oh, seriously? I don't want to read that. Next. Okay, next. 13. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> there is flavor. It's a graveyard. <laughs> graveyard, Waterbury, BT. Oh, that's funny. Um, Waterbury, Vermont. Mm. Do you know what Ben and Jerry's is? No, no. Oh, Ben and Jerry's is ice cream. Uh huh. Uh -huh. They have. Hold on, just a second. Let me show you. Okay. It's ice cream, and <clears throat> mm -hmm. they have some of the most <clears throat> amazing flavors. Uh huh. They do many, many different types of ice cream. Many types. So good. sometimes they come. Oh, it's so good, but I can't eat ice cream anymore. But they use. They have so many flavors, and they come out with new flavors every year. Mm. So they always have new flavors. Always, always, always. Well, they have so many flavors that they had to bury some of them. Some of them are not popular. Uh, okay. So this is a graveyard that represents. You know, graveyard is a place where people die. Mm hmm. But instead of people, it's ice ah. cream. <laughs> ah, yes, funny. Okay. That's uh, cute. It's like a, a tribute. Uh, yeah, to their uh, ice cream flavors. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, okay, I think it's funny, but um, I, I don't like to see that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like I to wouldn't. see that. Uh, yes, I wouldn't like to see That's that. That's funny. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. witty, but I would not want to take a tour. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not interesting. Oh, anyway. gosh. This is horrible. <laughs> okay, I, I continue with 14. Yeah, um, but horrible. Is, 14 is horrible, too. Yeah, it's a fish. What is it? A restaurant? National Fresh Water Fishing Campaign. It's, it's, oh, my oh. God. Look, there are people in that fish mouth. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yes, it's, it's like a to see a, a It's like a museum. It's a museum for fish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or for fishermen. Uh -huh. Fishermen. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Wisconsin. Uh -huh. Fishing hall. Ah, uh, fishing. Ah, uh, yes, fishing hall of fame. Like a yes, a, a museum for them. Mm. <laughs> Next. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ah, it's London Bridge. London Bridge. They have a so city. Uh, is that a replica? I don't know. Uh, I didn't know it was actually, I didn't know it was a real place. Mm. Oh, because London Bridge is falling down, no, falling, falling down. down. Yeah, <laughs> it's a real place. I didn't know that. Uh, uh. I did not know Le that. Havasu, how do you read it? Havasu City? Uh, I don't know. I would say Havasu. Uh -huh. mm, and that's okay. Arizona. AZ is uh, Arizona. The second biggest tourist attraction after the Grand Canyon. No. <laughs> did it really say that? Yes, at the end. Wait. Uh, it's the state. Oh, the states. The states' second biggest tourist attraction. 
So for that state, I'd actually never heard of it. Lake Havasu City. No. That's boring. It's a bridge. Yes. <laughs> we need something exciting, like that place that you showed me in Colombia. As soon as I saw that, okay. I was like, like oh, yes, I want to live in Colombia. <laughs> Yeah, okay. maybe we have a different concept of uh, places that people <laughs> maybe? Would like to see. <laughs> I think you do. Uh, oh my gosh! It's, it's a Sixteen two is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, Coral Castle. Oh, there's a there's a, a children's um rhyme. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. So she put them something something, put them to bed, put them to bed without any bread. She spanked them and put them to bed. It's like a horrible children's rhyme about a woman who had too many children and she beat them. And then she put them in bed with no food or water. Uh, uh. Horrible. So they <laughs> built a shoe after the children's Oh, this is just bad. Uh -huh. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and kitchen. Oh. A complete house. Three bedrooms, uh, two baths. Uh, living room of five levels. Five levels. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> Would you take a detour? No. Uh -uh. no Me either. Okay, what is this? Coral Castle. Homestead, Florida? Coral Castle, Homestead, Florida. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. It's a monument. Mm -hmm. Oh. What, who is another fun fact? Billy Idol was inspired to write. I would go see this. Yeah, yes, it looks interesting. That looks good. Can you read Coral this one? Castle. Yes, Coral Castle, yes. I, I'm interested in, in visiting this place uh, because I never see something like this, coral, coral castle. Mm. Yeah. Can, can you read this one, please? Okay. Coral Castle, Homestead, Florida. Mm -hmm. How did one slightly built man say to weigh about 100 pounds construct the Coral Castle, a lab labyrinth? Of loves of love consisting of over uh, one million, one no one million one thousand one hundred tons of coral rock. Uh, one thousand one hundred tons. One thousand one hundred tons of coral rock, hand carved over twenty eight years, located in Homestead, Florida, south of Miami. It's the legacy of Edward. Huh, let's kind of it's like a German. Yeah. Looks like it. Uh -huh. Who was uh, jilted by his true love, Ag Agnes Sc Scuff. Scuffs. Scuffs. Uh -huh. uh, Secretary built this monument to her from 1923 to 1951. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. Another fun fact Billy Idol was inspired to write Sweet 16 by Ed's oh. story. And film his music video at Coral Castle. Uh, oh. it's a, a sweet history. He built uh, this castle for her. Oh. Yeah, twenty-eight years. Uh huh. Yes. I would visit that. That yeah. looks awesome. I've never even heard of that. Mm, me too. Yes. Wow. Uh, one thousand one hundred tons of coral. And he was a little man. Uh -huh. Like uh, 100 pounds is um, like an eight-year-old today. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a big eight-year-old. Yes. Maybe a nine-year-old. Mm, I like this kind of monument when they they have a history to tell. Yes, mm -hmm. not just a silly shoe. Uh huh. <laughs> so I would take a detour to see this definitely. Yes. That's something that a, a man built with his hands over 28 mm. years because he loved someone. Uh, he was a brave man. Yes. Mm. That's beautiful. I like 
that. Okay, so there's one place in the U.S. I can be proud of. <laughs> oh my God! Seriously. What is uh, like a? Oh, this is palace? so embarrassing. Like old corn palace. It's not a regular palace. Mm, what is it in South, South Dakota? <sighs> It's a palace de dedicated to the food corn, to corn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. like the, oh my the god. Oh. They have corn that's different colors. Mm -hmm. 13 mm -hmm. different colors and so they they created a palace that was dedicated to corn. <laughs> to corn. Seriously? <laughs> you could build that corn, that palace, and put some homeless people in there. Corn. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. I agree. How they? Um, Did someone just come in? Hi, Mark. If te, if te los, oh, Hola. Bring it. Hola. I was wrong. This class is horrible. <laughs> 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 we saw I, a shoe. The most we saw... weird places in the USA. <laughs> horrible. The world's smallest church, the world's biggest buffalo, just weird, just weird stuff. What was the, what did you say? Liliana, which one did you say? No, uh, no I saw... The graveyard for the ice cream? Yes, the weird uh, places in the yeah. US, the most weird places in the USA. <laughs> Nothing fantastic, just embarrassing. Only the coral, the coral castle. The coral castle, that was good. That was worth yeah. that was yeah. worth the hour to find that one. Let me see. <laughs> 19 is oh my god, a spam museum. No. Mm -hmm. mm, number 20 is a fake Prada store. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And 21 is the International UFO Museum. No, thank you. Uh -huh. No. So, we could say that we would take a detour to go visit the Coral Reef. Uh-huh. Only the Coral Museum, I think is what they called it. That'd be good. Coral Castle? I think it's a, a castle. Coral Castle, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to go set up my last class for the day. Okay. Thank you for joining me, Liliana. No, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to do that by myself. That was so painful.